Good afternoon, everyone. We will convene the meeting of the Aging Committee. And we'll start by introducing our committee members and by um, and our staff. I'm Jane Garibay. I'm the chair representative of the Aging Committee. And to my right, Senator Hutch Hockadell. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jan Hockadell. I represent the 13th Senate District. Um, so that is all of Meriden, parts of Cheshire, parts of Middletown, and parts of Middlefield. And I'm happy to be co-chairing this meeting. Um, I'd also just like to say, you know, when we have children, there's all sorts of resources available to us as new parents. Um, but as our loved ones get into their seasoned years, um, it's sometimes hard to find or navigate those resources. Um, you know, whether it's family, for me, it's both of my parents at this point, friends, a loved one. You know, as people get into their final chapters, um, we have to make sure that they have the dignity and a voice um, in their lives. So I'm really looking forward to working with everybody on this committee and making sure we do the important work to make that happen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Senator. Very well said. Do we have Senator Miller, who's our SDO Senate Vice Chair? Is she online? Moving on, um, Representative Fortier, Vice Chair, House Vice Chair. Good afternoon. I'm Mary Fortier. I'm newly elected from the 79th District in Bristol and the Forestville section of Bristol. Um, again, I'm happy to be here as well. Um, both of my parents did pass away right before the COVID pandemic. Um, and I also had a blind relative that passed away right before the COVID uh, epidemic. And so there was a period of a number of years where I was doing that navigation that uh, Senator Hockadale talked about. And it's, it isn't easy. And um, it's something we have to strengthen, especially as our state ages. Thank you. Thank you, Representative. Um, Representative Bolinski, our House Ranking Member. Representative Bolinski, we're introducing you. I didn't see you weren't over there. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I am uh, uh, Representative Mitch Bolinski. I represent the 106th District, which is Newtown and Sandy Hook. Um, four-term member of the aging committee, very um, happy to be back as a ranking member here. Um, this is uh, um, the legislature's probably most um, committed, feel-good policy type committee. Uh, we conduct our work above board. We conduct our work um, with with a, a, an awful lot of agreement here. So um, um, we also have a relatively short calendar. So uh, with that said, um, very happy to uh, I'll allow you to get on with it. And I apologize for having stepped out. Senator Ranking Member, Senator Lisa Seminara. Good afternoon. Thank you, Madam Chair. I'm Lisa Seminara. I am representing the Senate District 8, which is uh, Avon, Bark Hempstead, Canton, Colebrook, Granby, Heartland, Harwington, New Hartford, Norfolk, Simsbury, and Torrington. I uh, am a licensed clinical social worker by trade. I have uh, had a huge interest in uh, the aging population. I feel that it is a very vulnerable population, a forgotten population. Um, and I have some personal experience. My father was in uh, a nursing home and was uh, suffering from dementia and was a victim of the COVID in the nursing home. So he passed away. Um, and I think that we have a lot of work to do this session, and I look forward to 
working together with everybody for it. Thank you so much. Nice to be here. Thank you. Representative Dorinda Bohr. Thank you, Representative. And hello, everyone. My name is Dorinda Bohr. I represent the great city of West Haven, the 115th district. This is going to be my fourth term, and I never served on the committee for aging, so I requested to be on this committee um, so I could join this fabulous team. And like so many of you, I also, you know, I'm part of that session. I uh, brought my mother to live with us her last five years, and it was, to echo the words of the senator, very difficult to navigate healthcare, mental health, financial um, transportation, and I just want to be a part of those solutions. So thank, thank you. you so much. Representative Case. Thank you, Madam Chair. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, Representative Case, uh, 63rd District, uh, representing uh, Winchester, Torrington, and Colebrook. Um, this is my, I'm going into my sixth term. This is my third term here on this committee. Um, looking forward to getting started on my mother's 79th birthday, where she's off snowshoeing today. So happy for her and happy birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. Representative DGO, DG Van Carlo. Thanks, Madam Chair. Uh, my name is Ma, Representative Mike DG Van Carlo. I represent the uh, 74th District, which is mostly the East End of Waterbury. My second term. Uh, it's my first uh, term on aging, uh, and I look forward to working with all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Representative Foncello. Thank you, Madam Chair. Happy to be here. I'm uh, Representative Marty Foncello, 107th District, Brookfield, portion in Newtown and Bethel. It's my first time here, and I'm looking forward to working with you all on the issues you have uh, in front of you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Representative Hughes. Thank you, Madam Chair. Happy to be here. I was driving on my way to Capital and I had car trouble, so I'm here in Waterbury stuck, but I'm so happy to be with you. Um, third term, I represent 135th District, East and Weston, and Reading, third term on Aging Committee. I love it. This is a universal committee. We are all aging and we all have aging uh, loved ones uh, that are, you know, challenged by, like, like everyone has said, really difficult um, service. Uh, landscape to navigate, a lot of barriers to aging in place, uh, to transportation, to getting um, just essential health care. And that workforce is, is, as we know, in a, in a big crisis as well. So I'm here to champion the policies that we have really worked so hard um, in the past few terms, especially through COVID, to, um, to, to resource. So thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you so much. Representative Miriam Khan. Hello. Um, so I represent the fifth district, uh, which is Windsor, Hartford, and South Windsor. Um, I was on aging um, at the end of the last term, so I'm returning as an aging member. I'm excited to be here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Senator Martha Marks. Yeah. Hello, everybody. I am um, double Zooming right now. Um, my name is Senator Martha Marks. I am from the 20th District, which is Old Saybrook, Old Lyme, East Lyme, Waterford, New London, Salem, Basra, Montville. Um, I'm thrilled to be on the um, Aging Committee, and I am a nurse for almost 40 years, a visiting nurse for 20 years, so I navigate this every day of my life. And I still have a hard time with some of it. So um, I'm hoping that we can make things easier for um, our seniors out in the community. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Rahman. Is he online? Okay. Senator Slap. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I guess it's, oh, it's good afternoon. Um, my name is Derek Slapp, uh, state senator from the 5th State Senate District, so it's representing uh, West Hartford, uh, most of Farmington, Burlington, and part of Bloomfield. Uh, I've been on the committee for a couple years, former uh, chair, and uh, really love the issue, love the bipartisanship. Um, I think we're the seventh oldest state, you know, um, in terms of population, so um, really important issues and look forward to working with everyone. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. Representative Vail. Good afternoon. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, 
Representative Kurt Vail from the 52nd District. I represent now four towns, the towns of Summer, Stafford, Union, and Woodstock. This will be my fifth term and my first term on this committee. Thank you so much. Senator. Thank you. We also wanted to uh, introduce our uh, staff with us. We have Ginger Rodriguez as our clerk. Give us a wave. We have Nick Panzarella, LCO, there. Sarah Lesser is from OLR. I think she's on there. Um, Nicole Duby from OLR. Emily Shepard from OFA. Lindsay Donston, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, OFA. And Christina Gilman from OFA. Thank you so much. So I do want to comment with most of you that I spoke to, I was very pleased to hear that you chose aging. It wasn't just like that was your last choice that you went on. And I'm looking forward to a very exciting um, session where we give voice to our seniors um, to give them, as the senator said, the quality of life that they deserve. So thank you all. Um, I'm just going to read this because I'm supposed to. In the interest of safety, I would ask you to note the location of and access to the exits in this hearing room. The two doors through which you entered the room are the emergency exits and are marked with exit signs. In the event of an emergency, please walk quickly to the nearest exit. After exiting the room, go straight and exit the building by the main entrance or follow the exit signs to one of the other exits. Please quickly exit the building and follow any instructions from the Capitol Police. Do not delay and do not return unless and until you are advised that it is safe to do so. In the event of a lockdown announcement, please remain in the hearing room and stay away from the exit doors until an all clear announcement is heard. Thank you. Um, today we're going to um, raise concepts. The first is implementing the recommendations of the Homemaker Companion Agency Task Force. Two, AAC Adult Day Centers. Three, AAC, the establishment of family councils and assisted living services facilities. AAC, a study of the needs of senior citizens. Establishing a revolving loan account to assist elderly homeowners. A study of criminal penalties for abuse, abandonment, and financial exploitation of elderly persons, persons with disabilities, or conserved persons. A study of long-term care needs. A registry of persons convicted of financial crimes against elderly persons. And number nine, encouraging social socialization for nursing home residents by providing transportation for visits with family. Do I have a motion to raise items one through nine on the agenda? Rep. so moved. Senator Mark, second. We'd like to separate some out. There's some that are no votes. To raise the concept even? Yes. Yep. Okay. Number one. Number one, do, question for, excuse me, Madam Chair, for the question of that, do we have the study? Yes, we do have the study. The committee has a study, the full committee? Or? No, not the full committee. Okay. Do you want to go? Um, yeah, well, we will, unless you want to just say which ones you want to pull out. We've yeah. heard this yeah, before. Yeah. Several years ago. If I if I might, Madam Chair, I'm going to I'm going to suggest for expediency that we do uh, allow a consent calendar, uh, and then as we hit each issue, um, if there's discussion, um, we'll have that discussion with the ability to hold something for its individual vote. Um, if it's a non-discussion item, then we can put it to consent. Um, so that would be something that I would uh, I would I would recommend if. That's what I was thinking. Thank you for putting it so eloquently. Um, to do so, there is a motion by Rep. Belinsky, and who seconded it? Mm -hmm. 
Do we need to withdraw the motion that was on the table? If so, I I withdraw the motion. I withdraw my second. Senator Marks. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go through each concept and we will take a voice vote on each one. I believe Representative Belinsky made a motion to create a consent calendar. Can you withdraw that? If uh, if I might, Madam Chair, I, I wish to withdraw that motion. Um, we've been uh, uh, advised by LCO that we do need a voice vote on each concept. So uh, I withdraw. Okay, thank you so much. Um, number one, implementing the recommendations of the Homemaker Companion Agency Task Force. Can I have a motion? So moved, okay. Rep Hughes. Second. Representative Fortier. Okay, motion ma made by Rep Hughes and seconded by Rep Fortier. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Aye. Number two, can I have a motion on the adult day centers? Rep Hughes, so moved. Second. Rep. Alinsky. Rep. Alinsky. So we have a motion by Rep. Hughes and a second by Rep. Alinsky. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Discussion. Oh. Okay. Discussion. So my understanding is there's two bills in here that are placeholders, and this is one of them. Is that correct? Yes. So as a placeholder in my 10 years, I haven't voted for a placeholder because it doesn't have any language behind it. And I feel as though we have constitutional dates that we have to bring stuff to the committee. So, oh, it's not a placeholder. I apologize. Okay, I was. It's coming out from the day centers working group. Right. I was just going to say that, Madam Chair. There, there's a whole working group uh, that we authorized last session that has made their recommendations right. and submitted on time their reports. So... I have before. I'm mm -hmm. sorry, um, Mitch. Um, I, I would ask when we are going to see the report from that, um, so that we can. Uh, give it, you know, give it substance. Okay. Um, we can get that to you. I don't think, I don't even know if you've seen it. They just came through. The working group is, um, the task force is much more comprehensive on the home care and we'll get that to you. And the working group came out with four concepts that has been posted, but it was not sent out individually. My apologies. Okay. Madam Chair, I think my question is, what do we have on this agenda that are placeholders? The placeholders are number four, a study of the needs of senior citizens, and number seven, a study of long-term care needs. Thank you, Madam Chair. Okay, so we have, is there any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Opposed? Abstentions, the motion carries. Number three, the establishment of family councils, councils in assisted living service facilities. Do we have a motion? Rep. Hughes, so moved. Rep. Alinsky seconds, but uh, asks also for an explanation of just right. exactly well, what this is so that um, the other members on the committee can understand the work that's been done that went into this. Okay. Um, so there was a motion made by Rep. Hughes, seconded by Rep. Belinsky. Is there further discussion? So um, this is the way this was brought in from the outside through the system. I don't know the details. Again, it's just raising the concept to give us the ability to talk about it and see what it's about. But I don't know further details myself. Madam Chair, can I, can I um, offer some background? Um, I think it's just because we're raising just the concept now, Rep. Hughes, that we're going to keep it at this. Okay. Is there any further discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Okay. Abstentions? The motion carries. Okay, number four, a study of the needs of senior citizens. Can I have a motion? 
A second. Senator Mark seconds. Madam Chair, ask for a roll call vote. Okay, so we have a motion on the floor made by Senator Slap and seconded by Representative Marks. Um, is there any further discussion? If not, we will, we has been, re oh, I'm sorry, Rep Vail. To be fair, is there any, like, I, I know you said this is a, a placeholder, was any, there's no substance to this bill at all? Nothing at all. Nothing, okay. Well, thank you for your honesty. I would, I would also say I Am I going to get slapped for that? <laughs> okay. Can we have a roll call, please? Madam Clerk. Senator Hockadell. Senator Hockadell votes yes. Representative Garibay. Representative Garibay votes yes. Senator Miller. Senator Miller votes yes. Representative Fortier. Representative Fortier votes yes. Senator Seminara. Senator Seminara votes no. Representative Belinsky. Representative Belinsky votes yay. Representative Borer. Representative Borer votes yes. Representative Case. As a placeholder, no. Representative DJ Van Carlo. Representative DJ Van Carlo votes yes. Representative Foncello. Representative Foncello votes yes. Representative Hughes. Representative Hughes votes yes. Representative Khan. Representative Khan votes yes. Senator Marks. Senator Marks votes yes. Senator Rahman. Senator Rahman votes yes. Senator Slap. Senator Slap votes yes. Representative Vail. Representative Vail votes no. Representative Vargas. All set, Madam Chair. So moved, Rep. Case. Second, Rep. Or. Madam Chair is muted. This is one that we saw last year. And it's coming through. Any questions on it? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Objections? Motion carries. Number seven, a study of long-term, number six, sorry, a study of criminal penalties for abuse, abandonment, and financial exploitation of elderly persons, persons with disabilities, or conserved person. Rep. K, so moved. Polensky, second. Motion made by Rep. Case and seconded by Representative Bolinsky. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Objection, motion carries. A study of long-term care needs. Can I have a motion? Rep. Hughes, so moved. Senator Slap, seconded. Rep. Vail. Okay, the motion was made by Senator Slap and seconded by Representative Vail. Is there any discussion? No, I didn't. Someone else seconded. I just had a comment. Okay, you keep. Okay. Who was the second? I think I was the first, and uh, Senator the Slap time was off. second. We had Senator Slap at the same time. If you agree, we'll put you down as the second. I agree. Okay, thank you. Okay, discussion. Madam Chair, you had indicated earlier that um, there is no language or any concept even considered at this point to this bill. Is that correct? That is correct. Okay. And I can I ask for a roll call vote, please? 
Yes, you can. Thank you. Okay, recall um, vote. Um, where's the list? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, Ginger, would you call a roll call, please? Senator Hockadell. Senator Hockadell votes yes. Representative Garibay. Representative Garibay votes yes. Senator Miller. Sorry. Senator Miller votes yes. Representative Fortier. Representative Fortier votes yes. Senator Seminara. Senator Seminara votes no. Representative Belinsky. Belinsky votes yay. Representative Borer. Representative Borer votes yes. Representative Case. As a placeholder, Representative Case votes no. Representative Dijo Van Carlo. Representative Dijo Van Carlo votes yes. Representative Foncello. Representative Foncello votes yes. Representative Hughes. Representative Hughes votes yes. Representative Khan. Representative Khan votes yes. Senator Mark. Senator Marks votes yes. Senator Raman. Senator Raman votes yes. Senator Slap. Senator Slap votes yes. Representative Vail. Representative Vail votes no. Representative Vargas. All set. Thank you. Number eight, a registry of persons convicted of financial crimes against elderly persons. Can I have a motion, please? So moved. Who was that? Rep Case? Polinsky seconds. Motion made by Rep Case and seconded by Rep Bolinsky. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Abstentions, motion carries. And number nine, encouraging socialization for nursing home residents by providing transportation for visits with family. So moved, Rep. Case. Second in Seminara. Motion made by Rep. Case and seconded by Senator Seminara. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? The motion carries. Okay. Yes, Representative Bohr. Thank you, Representative. I just wanted to um, ask a question about how technically the hybrid would work because there may be times that I may have to be virtual as well. Are we using the raised hand feature because you won't be able to see everybody virtually? Will the clerk or is that how we're going to do it? Yeah, one of us will have. Okay. So if we're virtual, so we raise our hand the, and then and you fall on us. See the hands. Okay. Just want to clarify. Thank you. That's good clarification. I'm sorry, um, Madam Chair, I didn't hear the answer to her question. That yes, if you raise your hand, the Senator has her computer here so she can see when hands are raised. So that would be the best practice. And Senator Miller, um, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm sorry, I had I was having technical difficulties. Um, this is Senator Pat Billy Miller, I'm uh, in Stan from Stanford. I represent the 27th Senate District in Stanford and there. I am the former chair of um, the aging committee. And I'll tell you, it's one of the best committees in uh, this general assembly. So it, we really do work on a bipartisan basis to do what's best for, I learned a new term, our older adults of uh, this state. So. I'm saying welcome to welcome back to the old members and welcome to the new members. Thank you, Madam Chair. Thank you. And Senator Rahman. Hello, everyone. I'm Senator Rahman from Port Senate Real District, uh, representing Manchester, Glastonbury, Andover, and Bolton. Uh, great to be here with you all, and I look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. So again, thank you all. I, Ginger, do we have the meeting of the next? Not yet.
yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. Um, also, we are going to hold the votes open for one half hour. It is now 101. We will keep the votes open till 130, 131. Are there any other questions or comments? Well, I'm really excited to get the work done. Do you have a comment? No, Madam Chair, I'll take it offline. Okay. Thank you so much. And thank you for your patience with our first meeting. Um, I know both the, um, we are very excited to be here. Senator, would you like a closing remark? I would just like to echo um, what you said that I, we're really looking forward to working together and getting some um, very good work done for um, our aging population. Thank you. And thank you everyone who has come here today for our meeting or is watching online. Okay, so um, we are now in adjournment. Thank you. Hmm? Recess. recess. Yes, I sorry. Thank you. We are in recess. We are not adjourning.